What is up, guys? Um, so, we're doing another magic video. We haven't done one in a while. And um, what we're going to do is an uh, interesting deck from Travis Wu. I guess it's a lot like Ali Antrazi's five color control deck. And basically, it's just uh, ramping with a bunch of green mana to do really big stuff uh, with um, your black you know with like uh, increasing ambition and um, uh, Sphinx's revelation and it just does a bunch of crazy stuff that you can do when you have a lot of mana and uh, Travis Wu is really a creative guy and he's really I'm very impressed with his like uh, stream and what he's done he's, he's uh, he really makes magic fun and uh, you know I mean that's why we all play it. so it's pretty interesting to see what he has um we're going to take a look at some of the card choices real quick um, because I'm going to change a couple of things. Um, so the mana base is 25 lands and it's a real mix of a bunch of shit here. We got like some basics, one steam vents, uh, four hinterland harvest, four temple groves, four sun petal grove because you know we want green access to green often. Two overgrown tombs, three hollow fountains, two glacial fortresses. So it's a really uh, uh, Diversified mana base, if we, if you will, and it has an alchemist refuge and a Kessig wolf run. Um, I personally do not think Kessig is that good of a card in this particular deck, so that is a card I will change. Um, what else do we got? We got Gilded Lotus. We got Door to Nothingness as a win con. Three Chromatic Lanterns, which are essential to this deck. We have a Grizzlebrand, a Thragtus, an Angel of Serenity. Uh, those are all pretty essential. We have an Omniscience, which I'm still on the fence about. It is a pretty interesting card, though. Uh, we got two Fogs, one main deck Sphinx's Revelation. We got a Nico Bolas. We have an uh, Epic Experiment. We have a Temporal Ma We have a couple Temporal Masteries, Terminus, four p full playset of Increasing Ambition, and a full playset of Supreme Verdict, Ranger's Path, and Farseek. And a sideboard, we got a bunch of stuff to combat against aggro, uh, like Thragtus, Centaur Healers, a Singleton Thought Flare, more board wipers. This Gilded Lotus is wrong, probably should be a Centaur Healer. So I'll make a. So um, change wise, like looking at the deck, a couple things that. You know, and I play, tested this at my FNM last week, and there was a couple things I didn't like. Um, I'm not sure about Epic Experiment, really, but I mean. We're going to go ahead and test one in there because it, it does seem pretty interesting. Um, these things look okay. I definitely want to change Kessig Wolf Run to um, another Alchemist Refuge. I think it's just much more helpful. I mean, you only have one red mana source, so not only do you have to, well, you know, aside from Chromatic Lantern, but I think I'd rather have another, another Alchemist Refuge, so that'll be the change I make. I want to see one more Sphinx's Revelation in the main board, but I really don't see anything that I could really cut. Maybe a Supreme Verdict, but I want to be certain that I can stem any kind of damage coming in. Um, sideboard, I would probably change this Gilded Lotus to another Centaur Healer. And I'd probably, I don't know, change a Terminus into another Sphinx's Revelation. I'm not sure. So, but we're going to go ahead and just make the change to the land real quick. So, let's go. Let's look here. Okay, there's Gilded Lotus. We're going to remove that Centaur Healer. Add one more. And then for lands, we're going to remove Kessig. And we're going to add a another Alchemist Refuge. 60, 15. That looks pretty decent, I guess. See, one. I, I, I really think the deck needs two Sphinx's Revelations because just the chance of chaining one into the other is just uh, is just really powerful but what do I cut you know Omniscience I, I really don't think I'm I, you know I like Omniscience it's a crazy card but I don't know it's just not there for me um, I'm going to go ahead and cut it we're going to add a Sphinx's Revelation we'll cut a Sphinx, Sphinx's Revelation from the sideboard and then, see, it'd be cool if we add like a Rakdos Returns or uh, something of that 
nature of slaughter games, but um, this doesn't seem. Let's just go ahead and add a thought flare. All right, so that's our new list. That's how we're looking with our list. So let's see if we can find a game, get someone to to play us. Standard. No fun deck or kick, really. Alright, we'll create our own game. Standard type 2 testing. Let's see what we can get. Hopefully find a guy quickly. Uh, let's look at the deck a little more. Um, the mana base is what it is. We're not going to make any real changes to that for now. Um, let's see what we got here. Cool interactions here. Our um, world fire when you have a thrag test in play, that's pretty cool. See, that's why I don't like Epic Experiment really, because it only touches, like realistically, it only touches fog, temporal mastery, terminus, increasing ambition, supreme verdict, and you know mana ramp. So that, every, you know, I mean, it's cool in in some way, but I just think. It does stuff that Sphinx's Revelation already does better, so I think I want to change that. So, like, my e epic experiment is pretty fun, but um, like, really, like, well, what are we gonna experiment for? Um, if you don't hit an increasing ambition, like, you've really like uh, played a poor card, and even if you do hit an increasing uh, ambition. You um, you are no longer able to flash it back because you're, you're going to use it, and I mean I don't know I just don't feel like it's uh, as good. I'm going to go ahead and put omniscience back in the deck. Put that back in the main board. Let's just save that. Man, no one wants to play fucking magic. What is going on? All right, here let's join this guy. Local deck. Uh, okay, we haven't played this in a while. So I'm gonna go do a roll. Damn, we can roll a fire. I never win when it comes to this. Okay, so we got three lands. This, this, this is a keepable hand. This is very keepable. We're gonna keep. So the nice thing about this is we have the mana fixing. Um, we got the oh, so this guy is playing black. Oh, we'll see what it is. This is a nice hat. Uh, I mean, we have access to most colors, and we got bombs. That are, okay. So it's gonna go eighteen. I don't like sign and blood as a. Uh, whatever. Mono black control. This could be playing that. Could be playing a number of things, but I do not know. Keep seeing what we can do here. And Vampire not no no drops. If anything, this hurts him. That's what I think. Um, I can go ahead and drop this into Chromatic Lantern and end. The reason why I drop this instead of Temple Garden is because on my turn four, I'll still be able to drop Temple Garden and drop Ranger's Path if necessary. Yeah, so he's playing Mono Black Control Trading Post, um, which I find to be a pretty interesting get deck. So. So we're gonna go and put this in. And then we're gonna tap four. We can get those lands. Ranger's path. So. And we want one overgrown tomb and we want a some we have temple gardens? Somewhere, right? There we go. Four 
double trading pulse. This is interesting. I don't, this is bad for him. I mean, the decks that don't have counters and like go long like this, uh, they they have to deal with my answer. So, so five will drop Kyoto Lotus. Um, this is sorcery speed. So three, four, five. We're gonna go to increasing ambition. get to put this game just out of reach. We take Thor. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we take Thor. Oh my god. What the fuck? That was fucking stupid. That was dumb. Just dropped the door of nothing. So, if he duresses and takes Thor, it sucks for us. Oh, Pithic Needle. Calls door, then that fucks us big. Okay, well, there we go. I guess we gotta go with the Nico Bolas and destroy target non creature permanent. Alright, so, what kind of mana we got number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. This is five, this is eight mana, so. So he creates the. That's pretty cool. So he, won't, he wants to just recur this pithy needle, which is fairly interesting. Interesting, interesting. So, what can we do here? We need to pull into a, uh, a temporal mastery to kind of just put this game out of reach. And there are a couple of ways to do that. Um, well, first of all, we're just going to go with this. And then let's go three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, flash fast increasing ambition. Uh, what do we take? What do we take? Big grizzle brand. But I mean, he's probably got removal for it. He's got a lot of mana. He's got seven mana on board. We'll take this card and we'll take. Uh, we need another win con. We'll take Grizzle Brand. Right? Yeah, right, we're doing that. So we are expecting. Oh, there's that chromatic band thing. Five mana. Oh, Thor did not. Damn, that is pretty cool. That is cool. A mono black door to nothingness deck. That is. Now, isn't this fun? That is freaking cool, man. I think I've been missing my draw step. I'm not sure. Uh, so I got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I can do a door and temporal mastery. So, so here's temporal mastery. game too. So he knew because I got Temporal Mastery and, and Door so um, uh, let's see okay so he he wants to hit me with Door um, and I want to verify my or uh, change up my wing con so I'm going to world fire in here planar cleansing he's not running a lot of creatures so we're going to go ahead and move Terminus out there's a chance that he might, so we'll keep two Supreme Verdicts in. Um, see, these other things are not necessary. Um, and we need two cards in there, so Thought Flare seems decent in this matchup. Fog doesn't seem necessary. We'll keep one in to have it, and then we'll add another Sphinx's Revelation, so that should be pretty cool. So let's uh, see what we can do. We draw. No, that is not a good hand. That's a bad hand. Mm, that's better. So we're going to keep this hand. I kind of want to add one more red source to the deck. Um, this deck just. Oh, oh, that's a bad land drop. Shit. That's alright. Made mistakes. The deck needs um, post sideboard uh, a source to get out that thought flare or epic experiment. Experiment, no matter what it is you play. So um, reveal to bone thug. Um, it's gonna take sphinxes with thought flare. So yeah, that's that was a obvious uh, play there. Him. Put in that hollow fountain. So now he knows that he can play a little more aggressive in his hand because we have nothing. We're holding all lands, which is where we want to be with the deck. Oh, so, and he could be just holding another dress, waiting for me to play into something so less substantial. So now, far seek, we're gonna get that red land. Um, our steam vents. Like I said, I, I probably want to get one more steam vents into the main deck. Probably drop away, do away with the planes. That one planes. Uh, it's not. Doesn't seem real necessary. Uh, appetite for brains, and then there it is. So that is going to take our thought flare. Now we're just playing with lands in hand, but we still. Oh, okay. So uh, let's play colored lands for now. So he's hit a few of the cards that we want. It's a, it's a very. That's a very interesting mono black. I like what I see. That's good. Uh, let's uh, get a temple garden, chrome tomb. Tap these. And so we really want top thought flare at this point. We just want to discard this stuff. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I will be playing any more land drops at this point. Uh, and the question is do we hold the door or what? I don't think we do. So we're going to go ahead and drop this. Then we're going to go play a land. White, blue, red. Okay, so we're short of red and black source. And this is why it might be nice to have double red because um there's that pithy needle calling door to nothingness which is cool now 
I'm just pulling into lands, that sucks. That's the one thing about this deck, I don't understand. They always seem to just like draw into lands a lot. Which, I mean, I guess that's what you, know, what you do want to draw into lands quite a bit. See, I think his deck really needs Desecration Demon. Like that, that seems like it would be a nice card for later in the game. He's got a very interesting deck. I'm, I really like that deck. I think I'm going to try to build that deck. I find it very, very interesting. So. That was a lantern. What's a lantern in play? Is it, I possibly should have just held off on that and kept the lantern because he could pit the needle for. Well, no, he wouldn't because it will kill his. So, yeah, the lantern is a drop to make. So, another needle. What's he going to play? Nicole Ball is okay. Um, oh my goodness, we're just. I'm gonna save it, because we have a planar cleansing. I wanna wipe the board clean. Sign of Blood nicely done. I love this deck list, man. This is very interesting. He doesn't have any. Uh, see, the nice thing about this deck is like now he can play Mutilate and he can play like Rakdos Return. I mean, that's a he's got something good here. It's it's pretty interesting. I'm very impressed with that deck list. Look at that! How, look how many lands I've dropped. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm thinking that. Have used door already, but I can't because um, obviously he has the uh, wow, that's just a bad hand. So I'm just gonna play this slow. We got three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen men out there. So we got we got things. Yeah, this is a very interesting mono black with. Okay. Staff of Nin pinging away. What is it calling? Shuts down my land. Good thing you that is this is an awesome deck, man. I love this deck. I love what he's doing here. got a very, very interesting plan going on here. This is very, I love this, this is a very interesting deck. No, okay. Wits end for real. This guy just plays Wits end on him. That's an interesting sideboard choice. Wow. The shitty hands, so he's gonna pay him A very interesting deck that he's got here. And I'm actually very impressed with it. Mono black splashing the lantern for nice things. I'm actually going to build a Rakdos or a mono black splashing red just so I can have a oh wow this is just fucking what a horrible like, I've just drawn nothing but lands up to this point. So this is just whack. This is some whack ass shit. Land after land after land. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 lands have drawn 65% uh, of my lands. And now we have a problem. Oh, and there's our win.
So plate and cleansing is coming out as a, as a boss there. Took took out a bunch of cards. That was like a two for five. I don't know, one for four or something like that. And it turns out we're right. But neither of us is doing anything uh, remarkable right now. So, all right, here's increasing ambition. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Increasing ambition. Uh, view my library. I'm gonna take a black source. Actually, I'm gonna take overgrown too. And the reason is this. So I'm gonna trash that. Play overgrown too. You lose two life. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Increasing ambition. And now we're going to grab two cards that are just going to put the game out of reach for our opponent. One is. Now we got to be very careful here. We're going to take a Sphinx's Revelation. And we're going to take. Oh, did we seriously just run out of a. Guild of Lois. I mean, he has duress, and that's gonna suck for us. Let's see, he wants to get some of his stuff back. Let's take a look at our graveyard. Where's our chromatic land? Oh, all our lanterns in the graveyard, so that really just fucks up our. Uh, what we can really do here. Um, and there's the duress. Uh, reveal to. So, I mean, that, that was what I was worried about, but we have no choice. I mean, that's the play. So now he can use Pithing Needle to shut down our Gilded Lotus, and maybe we should have just taken two Sphinx's Revolutions. Stuff and then again. Gah. Not a goat bringing back. It's very interesting, very interesting. But then, you know. Might have played that wrong a bit. I'm not sure. So, but we're not dead yet. So, one, two, three, four. Now oh, we gotta do the mana right here. So, increasing ambition. View graveyard. View library. What do we take? See, we can't. See, the, here's the thing. Now we can't play Warfire. It's just we don't have <laughs> anything to play it. But we can take Grizzlebrand. I'm not sure I want to take Grizzlebrand. Uh, uh, Grizzlebrand is not even. We can take Doppler. Okay, and then what we'll do is we're going to go with. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Gilded Lotus. And we're gonna end.
gets rid of omniscience, which is smart. Yeah, we have no ways to win the game. Oh, no, we can wall fire. Oh, this isn't a good guy. We can still warp bar, so... Do we have enough mana to cast it? That's the question. That is the question. So we got 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17. Wow, we have 20 mana on the board, so... We can do it. Is it enough, though? Might be. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so increasing ambition. Increasing ambition. And we're gonna take two cards here. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten cards. Six, that's nine mana. No, we're gonna take Sphinx's Revelation and Thragtusk. Okay, and we are going to go one, two, three, four, five, Thragtusk. One, two, three, four, five. And far seek. Yeah, is far seek the right play? Not sure, but we're doing it. Yeah, that's interesting. We should. We probably should have just kept mana. Oh, yeah. Okay. Interesting, interesting. He's got a full hand, really got a lot of cards. Just really do a lot of yeah, there's the duress. Um make use of it. Sphinx's revelation for one or for two. Very interesting deck. I really like his deck. It's really, really cool. Pitting needles and just a lot of cool stuff in there. Uh, do we have the answer? There's increasing ambition. He j we just don't have uh, enough uh. see I mean they, we need that creature that's gonna survive the flip so we're gonna take that five six seven angel of serenity Targeting goat. Uh, with the right test.
guy needs to live through the turns, and no, he might, so it's going to be an issue. We will see. We just need to be able to untap, because then we can go increasing ambition wall fire. So the quality of the cards that we're drawing is much better, so. And he's got to have mutilate, and if not, I mean, there's the mutilate, yep, so. So this goes to graveyard, this goes to graveyard, this goes back to my hand. And that is a game winner, son. He's got four cards on hand. See, now I really w wish I had a rack those returns in here. Um. Play this land. Okay, now. Now I gotta think about things. This is our last increasing ambition. So we gotta make a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so that's our final increasing ambition. Okay, now let's give you a library. Okay, well, it's not our final, but we're gonna take wall fire. Wait, now we gotta think about it. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we can cast Wolfire. So we are gonna take. No, we're gonna take Increasing Ambition. And we'll take. Temporal Mastery. That is the play. And now do we drop the right tusk? Thinking. Thinking. We keep men open. We keep men open. So. So what we're gonna do here is we are gonna pop Alchemist Refuge. Oh, he's gonna get this shit. There's the goat, there's a trading post for pith and needle. Oh, staff of men, okay, and ping me. Okay, so th this seems like a misplay on his part. Because the rest is not going to be able to hit Thraktus. And let's see what he does. What do you do? A very interesting deck that this guy's got. Flash, yes. Seven mana open. And we're just gonna go for it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure, we hit with this. So, one, two, three, four, five. Increasing ambition. Your library, take wall fire. Now's the time. Now is the time. Um. Play threat us. Got seven men on top. Um, what do we gotta 
try so three four seven eight nine or five is that <laughs> oh shit yes um can I see your checklist? I really like embassy. interesting deck so that was pretty fun that was a cool game